so here like let's say i'm going to stop this service and i'm just trying to use like minus r odoo and minus w as a odoo because you can see here like we created username as odoo and password as odoo r r stands for the user and w stands for the password here so we can also communicate with the different users right now you can see here like by default i'm using by default it's using this username and password here so let me go to here like this and let me go to here in front end side and trying to refresh the page if it successfully refresh the page it means like username and password we provided is the correct one so let's say uh, let me refresh one more time here So let me go to here like localhost 8069 web database manager you can see here why this pop-up message is always appearing like this why because you can see previously we created one database and that name is odoo underscore 14 right so we already uh, we now switch with another postgres user so there is a uh, some access rights here so due to that like you cannot see the previous postgres users database here so it will always like here odoo says please provide here a new database because we don't find any database for this specific odoo users so let me add here the password but right now you can see I forgot this password this master password so what I have to do is like I'm just going to in PyCharm uh, I'm going to in terminal and let me open here a new tab you can just remove rm in a root directory you can see odoo rc this configuration file is there so simply we have to remove this one and then we are going to restart the service and same thing like we have to go to again in browser and refresh the page you can see now it will automatically generate one password here oops okay now like odoo demo admin admin india and click to this create database for the double check i'm oh, sorry you can see here this odoo underscore 14 owner is harsh Thaduk, and this demo odoo demo which we recently created under this owner name is odoo so that's why like in postgres side it's always filter with this with the specific owner databases here so let's say i'm using owner as a odoo in odoo side so i'm always getting database list from this owner only let's say i'm using postgres owner then I can see three databases in front end side. So you have to always remember like this. Also don't confuse here with this ownership. So whatever ownership you apply in this terminal like minus R, the same thing like from the front end side, you can see the specific ownership database only. All right, so I'm going to in front end side. Let me log in as a admin admin. like admin admin yoohoo so we created this database with newly created owner 
as a odo so i hope you understood like how ownership of the database is working with odo especially the odo i hope you don't have any doubt now so in case you have any query or comment related this topic please comment below and see you in next session